Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Asia. I will be doing a wear test today of the Dermacol Foundation. It is the Dermacol Film Studio Makeup Cover Foundation. I purchased this on Amazon. I've seen a few people review it, mixed mixed opinions. Some people it's just like the best thing ever and other people are like, this is horrible. So I have swatched this before, um, but I haven't worn it yet. So we will see how it wears throughout the day. I have oily combination skin, major pores, which you guys will see in just a minute, major hyperpigmentation issues, um, freckles, spotting, scarring, all that fun stuff. And we will see how this wears throughout the day. Comes in a box like this. I will link it down below. Prices range on this foundation depending on supply and demand. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. I just purchased it off Amazon. I am wearing shade 210. And it says it's a hypo, hypoallergenic waterproof makeup cover with SPF 30, preservative free. It provides perfect coverage even in thin layers. Directions apply in a very small quantity and spread evenly for removal use. D Dermacol, no, I'm not going to do that. But definitely is um, very small quantity as you guys will see. So if you're interested in seeing how this product wears throughout the day on my oily combo skin, you're in the right place. Stay tuned. I apologize for my voice. I'm very sick. Um, I've had bronchi I've had bronchitis. They told they tell me it's bronchitis. I think I'm dying of like tuberculosis or pneumonia or the Spanish influenza or something. I don't know some really rare disease because I'm dying. Not really, but I feel like I'm dying. So bear with me. Um, if you see me sniffing a lot, I'm going to try to edit most of that out, and if you see my eyes kind of start getting really watery, it's probably because I just edited out a whole coughing fit. It's been way too long since I filmed the video, so I've each weekend I've been trying to film, and I'm just still not better, so I'm just going to bite the bullet, and hopefully you guys appreciate that, <laughs> and it's good enough. I'm going to be applying half of this with a brush, and the other half with Beauty Blender. I have uh, swatched this already and the color is way off for me. And this is shade 210. Since I'm sick, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I figured today would be a good day to test it out on the face. Um, when I did swatch it, I used like the tiniest little bit and that tiny little drip blended out this huge swatch. So I'm gonna get just that much on my finger, like a tiny little, not even, I wouldn't even call it a pea size amount. And just dab that all over. It is very thick. Like, I don't even know. Very sticky and thick. It's blending out nicely with the brush. It's not looking streaky or anything like that. And that tiny little bit covered my entire face. I would say, um, with that tiny little bit, I would say that's full coverage. Um, it is not. I don't really think it's a matte finish. It seems more, I would call it more of a dewy finish. So it did do a really good job at covering everything. I will say with the light in my face, the shade doesn't look so bad, but it is a lot pinker than my skin. I'm gonna get just a tiny little bit more. I wish I could emphasize the tininess of what I'm using here but you just need a tiny, tiny bit. It is so pink. I hope that's picking up on camera. It is really pink. It's like got a salmon-y undertone almost. I do really like the finish though. It's a very nice skin finish, so it's super thin. It's super thick formula um, and definitely, definitely very, very pigmented. And it is full coverage with just a tiny bit. Um, 
I wouldn't call it matte at all though. Let's see how, I don't know how it'll work with the Beauty Blender because it is such a thick, con like tacky consistency. I don't know how it's gonna blend out, but let's try it. I like that when you blend it out with a brush, it's not streaky at all. Like it just kind of blends out very nice. Yeah, I am not liking how that's blending out at all with the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to use the brush. It's just too thick. It's just not blending into the skin the way it did with the brush. Oh, the shade though. Blech. Yeah, so this, I just... It's too thick to, to blend out and too sticky with the Beauty Blender. It was leaving it really patchy. I think it looks really nice on camera. I think it has a really nice finish. Um, definitely full coverage. But pretty much every pore in my face is like highlighted. So it seems to be adhering to the skin really well. So as far as like going on, it, this goes on really quick with a brush and blends out really nice and definitely full coverage, but I like that dewy, more like skin-like finish. Um, it's still pretty dang tacky, so I might have to set this with a powder because I am super oily in the T-zone. So foundation finished and on at 1245. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to let you know how it applies. Okay. Rest of my makeup went on. I didn't set my entire face with powder. I decided to just, um, I put a little bit of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder right here and um, kind of like in the crease of my nose area and at the center of my forehead. And that's it, I didn't set anywhere else. Everything went on really nicely. Um, the bronzer, which is what I put on first, was a little bit tacky, but I used the I use the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and that blends out really nicely. So once it kind of, I just kind of tapped it on and once I blended it out, it was fine. The uh, rest of my face is Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and Japanese, Japanesque blush in shade 02. So um, I will check back in in a few hours and we'll see how this is holding up. Thank you guys. Be right back. Okay, I wanted to film a check-in in natural lighting so that you guys could really see what I was talking about. Hopefully you'll be able to see. I'm gonna get really close. So see how bad like all of this texture looks? It's pretty freaking awful and see how like, uh, hopefully you guys can see this. It's not that it's like, try to see, I can't even touch my face, it's so greasy. But it's like spots everywhere. Like everywhere that there's like a pore or anything in my face, it just is completely spotted. Like all the makeup has completely come out of every single pore on my face. Awful. No. So yeah, hopefully you guys could see everything I was talking about there. Um, it has been, what time is it? Uh, 516, so it's been on like a little over four hours, five hours, I don't know. What was the check-in time? 12.45, I think. It's been four hours and 15 minutes, and it looks this bad. No. From far away, like when I look on my monitor, it doesn't look as horrific as it does when I was showing you guys close up and like natural lighting what it looks like. Yeah, no, I've never, it's so, I'm, I mean, I have... Because I have oily skin, I'm used to foundations breaking down and stuff on me. I've never had any do it over here so bad. Around like my nose, pore area, T-zone, that's totally to be expected for me, but I've never had it happen on my entire face. It's like, it reminds me of like when oil meets water, how it just separates into little balls. That's what it's doing. It's, it looks horrid. Now I will say, 
about for about an hour after I was wearing it, my skin looked amazing. So for like a, like a photo shoot or something like that, or if you were just gonna go get pictures taken, or if you're gonna film a video or whatever, and you just are gonna be wearing makeup for a minute, it looked great. Um, so I, I can see why the makeup is geared towards like film production, stuff like that, because it is definitely full coverage. Very, very full coverage, no need to build it up. And it has a really nice radiant finish, but for long term, no. I'll be right back you guys, well, right back for you guys, and we'll see how it looks in a few more hours. Just for shits and giggles. Okay, it is 8 o'clock and I cannot wait to get this crap off my face. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see better. It is like completely anywhere there's wrinkles or pores, it just, it just looks awful places that I've never even noticed my pore issue. It's just super, super awful. Yeah. No, it's a big, big no on this foundation. Um, for an hour, it looks nice. So if that's the only time you're gonna be wearing it, power to you, but mm, yeah, no. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, so Dermacol, Holy Grail, Holy Fail. No. No.